And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land, neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am thy part, and thine inheritance among the children of Israel. And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in Israel for an inheritance, for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Neither must the children of Israel henceforth come nigh the tabernacle of the congregation, lest they bear sin and die. But the Levites shall do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statute for ever throughout your generations, that among the children of Israel they have no inheritance. But the tithes of the children of Israel, which they offer as an heave offering unto the Lord, I have given to the Levites to inherit. Therefore I have said unto them, Among the children of Israel they shall have no inheritance. Most Israelites who wake up from their slumber, the first thing they want to know is what tribe they come from. I've received countless emails from Israelites from all over the world asking me how do they find out what tribe they descend from. Israelites, you're not going to know what tribe you come from unless the Most High reveal it to you. If the Most High believe it's necessary for you to know what tribe you descend from, he will reveal the information to you. The Most High want his people to repent and return to him. Our primary focus is repentance. As you elevate in your journey, the Most High will begin to reveal himself to you as well as your purpose. Israelites, make repentance your focus in the awakening. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. The Testaments of Judah is the first chapter in the Twelve Tribes series. Analyzing the Testaments of the Twelve Patriarch could help some Israelites know what tribe they descend from. Judah is the tribe most Israelites identify with. The tribe of Judah is also the easiest tribe to locate because the Most High said he would scatter Judah to the four corners of this world. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Most Israelites, born outside of the continent of Africa and descend from slaves in the diaspora, identify with the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah is the tribe I come from as well. I made Judah the first chapter in the 12 tribe series. The second chapter of the 12 tribe series is about the tribe of Levi. Before we begin with Levi, I will share with you my testimony of how the Most High revealed to me that the tribe of Judah was my tribe. I hope my journey could help those of you who desire to know your tribe. Like most Israelites, when the Most High woke me up, I wanted to know what tribe I come from. I asked the Most High in prayer to reveal to me my tribe. I didn't ask any other Israelite, nor did I follow the false 12 tribe chart. I have no problem going to the Father and asking Him for what I want. I never shy away to speak with the Most High. I always go before the Most High boldly and ask Him for the things that I want, as well as asking the most high questions that can help me with my spiritual journey. The scripture said, some have not because they ask not. Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Israelites, if you want provision and protection from the Most High, it is important that you go before the Most High in prayer and ask the Most High first. Don't ask your favorite YouTube teachers, friends, family, and the heathens before asking the Most High. Remember, the Most High desire first place in your heart. 
The way to get result from the Most High, you must ask the Most High first and believe in your heart that he will respond to you and grant you the desires of your heart. The Most High said there's no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Israelites, if you're having trouble hearing from the Most High, make sure sin is not found in you. If sin is found, you're not going to hear from the Most High. The word of the Most High said sin separates you from the Most High. Israelites, that is why it is important to repent. Once you petition the Most High in prayer, the Most High will reveal the answer to you via his Holy Spirit. Once he answer your prayer, the Most High will send someone to confirm the response he gave to you. Confirmation can come from your friends, family, teachers you trust, and the word of the Most High. Confirmation can come from music or a movie. Once you receive the confirmation, the Holy Spirit will nudge at you by reminding you of the question or prayer you ask the Most High. That is how you know the answer is from the Most High. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or for any sin, in any sin that he sinneth. At the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses, shall the matter be established. Once I asked the Most High while spending time in his presence, what is my tribe? I didn't research the scriptures to find my tribe. I simply asked the Most High and went about my life. I didn't stress about what tribe I came from. By the way, in my heart, I had an idea of what tribe I came from. However, due to my ignorant view of Judah, I didn't want to descend from the tribe of Judah. I've talked about my low view of Judah in several messages. The Most High changed my views on Judah. Through a lack of knowledge, I judged Judah harshly, just like how I judged the Israelites as a whole when I read the scriptures in ignorance. It took two years for me to accept the confirmation given to me. Israelites, when it comes to timing, the Most High is always on time. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. The Most High can answer your prayers and questions swiftly, or he can answer several years from the time you ask. You must trust the Most High while you wait. The Most High knew that I didn't like Judah. The Most High wanted to change the negative view I had of him. The Most High said to me, you're no different from Judah. Two years after asking the Most High, I received an email from a fellow Israelite. The email said the world know who we are and where we come from. Included in the short email was an attachment of a currency note. The person who sent the email sent another email with a larger picture of the note and asked me, what do I see? When I examined the note, the first thing I saw were ships. The next thing that stood out to me was the lion sitting on a crown. The moment I saw the lion sitting on the crown, the Holy Spirit reminded me of the question I asked several years prior and had an absolute assurance. Like our father Abraham, I believe what the Holy Spirit was confirming to me. And he believed in the Lord. And he counted it to him for righteousness. The person that sent the email, I've never met him or her, nor did we had prior conversations. We didn't discuss what I discovered about the currency note either. He or she shared the pictures with me and vanished. By now, some of you know that I'm a private person. Only a select few have seen my picture when I posted a picture several years ago. I don't share much about myself on social media. I've never shared where my family and I are from before my family moved to the USA as a young child. The currency note the person sent me was from the country where my family and I was born in the diaspora. Whoever sent me the email had no knowledge. He or she just shared something they discovered with me that so happened to give me the final confirmation I needed to repent. Judging Judah was like judging myself. The Most High wanted me to know not to do that because I descend from Judah. 
The Most High wanted to change the low view I had of Judah, as well as to believe what I knew was true from the beginning, but I didn't want to accept. That is how the Most High revealed to me my tribe. Israelites, be patient with the Most High. While you wait, trust the Most High and lean not to your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Israelites, don't follow popular trends. What is popular with the world is an abomination to the Most High. Trust the Most High and he will direct your path. Now to the tribe of Levi. Who is Levi? Levi is the third son born to Jacob and Leah. Leah called her son Levi because she believed birthing to Jacob three sons would make her husband Jacob join to her. And she conceived again and bare a son and said, Now this time will my husband be joined unto me because I have borne him three sons. Therefore was his name called Levi. Leah was not Jacob's choice of a wife. Jacob labored seven years for Laban to receive Rachel for a wife. Jacob's uncle Laban tricked him and gave his oldest daughter Leah for a wife to Jacob. In Laban's family traditions, the youngest couldn't get married before the oldest child. Jacob had to work another seven years for Laban before he could have Rachel for a wife. Jacob loved Rachel. When Leah birthed Jacob's three sons and Rachel was barren at that time, Leah believed her children for Jacob would make her husband join to her. That is why she named her third son Levi. Levi means attached or joined. The scripture said Leah was despised. That is why the Most High opened her womb to birth more children for Jacob than Rachel, the woman Jacob loved. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. But Rachel was barren. There's a lot of scandal in our family's bloodline. These scandals are made public to the world because the synagogue of Satan transformed our heritage into a religion. Like the scripture said, we all have sinned and fallen short. Laban is Jacob's mother, Rebekah's brother. Jacob married his cousins, Leah and Rachel. Jacob, Leah, and Rachel are indigenous black people. Leah had the most children for Jacob, six sons, and Jacob's only daughter, Dina. The 12 tribes of Israel are indigenous black people. Israelites, due to the times we're living in, there are some people that are trying to bring heathens into the Israelite bloodline. Don't believe them. I am glad a lot of Israelites have awakened to the falsehood of the 12 tribe chart. Ask the Most High and he will tell you what tribe you descend from. The patriarch to our nation always gathered their children to them to bless them and inform them of what will happen to them in the latter days. We will discuss what Jacob prophesied to his son Levi before he transitioned. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. O my soul, come not thou into their secret, unto their assembly. Mine honor be not thou united. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they digged down a wall. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Jacob was displeased with Levi and Simeon for attacking Shechem when they defiled his daughter Dina. Because of their action, Jacob cursed the anger of Levi and Simeon. Jacob said he would divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. The Bible does not give us context about what provoked Levi and Simeon to attack the men of Shechem outside of them defiling their sister. In the Testament of Levi, Levi explains to his children why they attacked the men of Shechem concerning Dina. The Most High told Levi to attack Shechem via the angel of the Lord who spoke with Levi. The angel of the Lord. I wonder what angel that was. I know which angel it was, but I will let you figure it out. The angel of the Lord opened the gates to Levi. There's only one angel with the keys 
and the gate opens only to him, according to the book of Baruch. The angel of the Lord gave Levi a sword and a shield and said, Execute vengeance on the men of Shechem. And thereupon the angel opened to me the gates of heaven, and I saw the holy temple, and upon a throne of glory, the Most High. Then the angel brought me down to the earth, and gave me a shield and a sword, and said to me, Execute vengeance on Shechem because of Dina, thy sister, and I will be with thee because the Lord has sent me. The men of Shechem plan to do to Sarah and Rebekah what they have done to Dina. The testament of Levi said that they mistreated Abraham when he was a stranger in their land. The wrath of Simeon and Levi against those men was judgment from the Most High to that city. But I saw that the sentence of God was for evil upon Shechem, for they sought to do to Sarah and Rebekah as they had done to Dina, our sister, but the Lord prevented them. And they persecuted Abraham, our father, when he was a stranger, and they vexed his flocks when they were big with young, and Eblin, who was born in his house, they most shamefully handled. And thus they did to all strangers, taking away their wives by force, and they banished them. But the wrath of the Lord came upon them to the uttermost. And I said to my father Jacob, By thee will the Lord despoil the Canaanites, and will give their land to thee and to thy seed after thee. Levi revealed that because they attacked the men of Shechem against the will of Jacob, that is how they sinned. And Jacob was sick at the time of the attack. That is why he cursed their anger and was wroth with them. And I slew Shechem first, and Simeon slew Hamar. And after this, my brothers came and smote that city with the edge of the sword. And my father heard these things and was wroth. And he was grieved in that they had received the circumcision, and after that had been put to death. And in his blessings he looked amiss upon us. For we sinned because we had done this thing against his will, and he was sick on that day. The tribe of Levi was indeed scattered among Israel, just like Jacob prophesied. The southern kingdom of Judah consists of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin. Because the Most High gave Levi the priesthood, the Levites who were responsible to take care of the temple of the Most High, as well as the priests in Levi's tribe, live in Jerusalem. Not all of the Levites live in the kingdom of Judah. Remember, Levi was to receive cities to live among his brethren. The Most High did not give the Levites an inheritance. The Most High took the Levites for himself as an inheritance. But unto the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them, The priests, the Levites, and all the tribe of Levi shall have no part nor inheritance with Israel. They shall eat the offerings of the Lord made by fire, and his inheritance. Therefore shall they have no inheritance among their brethren. The Lord is their inheritance, as he hath said unto them. Wherefore Levi hath no part nor inheritance with his brethren. The Lord is his inheritance, according as the Lord thy God promised him. Later on in this message, you will know what are the promises the Most High made to Levi. The tribe of Levi live amongst all the tribes, in the cities and suburbs given to them. Command the children of Israel that they give unto the Levites of the inheritance of their possession cities to dwell in. And ye shall give also unto the Levites suburbs for the cities round about them. And the cities shall they have to dwell in. And the suburbs of them shall be for their cattle and for their goods and for all their beasts. And the suburbs of the cities which ye shall give unto the Levites shall reach from the wall of the city and outward a thousand cubits round about. The scripture said the Israelites had to give the Levites cities and suburbs to live in. Amongst every tribe the Levites dwell, just as Jacob prophesied that the Levites would be scattered among the Israelites. Israelites, you need to understand the difference between the twelve tribes and the twelve patriarch of the Israelite nation. The twelve patriarch are the sons of Jacob. Jacob's sons are Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Usher, Issachar, Zebulon, Joseph, and Benjamin. The 12 tribes of Israel are Reuben, Simeon, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, 
Usha, Issachar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Manasseh, and Ephraim. Did you notice in the 12 tribes, Joseph and Levi are missing? The Most High took Levi, as you heard in the scriptures, as his inheritance. Joseph's two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, replaced Joseph and Levi. If you include the tribe of Levi into the Israelite nation, then the nation of Israel consists of 13 tribes. Jacob brought Manasseh and Ephraim, his grandsons, into the 12 tribes of Israel. When Jacob was blessing his sons, he didn't mention Manasseh and Ephraim in the chapter 49 of the book of Genesis. The workers of iniquity placed the blessings Jacob had for Manasseh and Ephraim in chapter 48 of the book of Genesis. Jacob took Manasseh and Ephraim and claimed them as his children. And one told Jacob and said, Behold, thy son Joseph cometh unto thee. And Israel strengthened himself and sat upon the bed. And Jacob said unto Joseph, God Almighty appeared unto me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me. And said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful and multiply thee, and I will make of thee a multitude of people and will give this land to thy seed after thee for an everlasting possession. And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, which were born unto thee in the land of Egypt before I came unto thee into Egypt, are mine. As Reuben and Simeon, they shall be mine. And thy issue which thou begettest after them shall be thine, and shall be called after the name of their brethren in their inheritance. To those of you who descend from the tribe of Levi, do not fear. Your Israelites in a tribe. Your blessings from the Most High is amazing among the nation of Israel. Levi is first and Judah is second. The Testament of Judah revealed this information. Judah commanded his children not to hate Levi. And now, my children, I command you, love Levi, that you may abide and exalt not yourself against him, lest ye be utterly destroyed. For to me the Lord gave the kingdom, and to him the priesthood, and he set the kingdom beneath the priesthood. To me he gave the things upon the earth, to him the things in the heavens. As the heaven is higher than the earth, so is the priesthood of God higher than the earthly kingdom, unless it falls away through sin from the Lord and is dominated by the earthly kingdom. For the angel of the Lord said unto me, The Lord chose him rather than thee, to draw near to him, and to eat of his table, and to offer him the first fruits of the choice things of the sons of Israel. But thou shalt be king of Jacob. To the tribe of Levi, listen to what your father Levi revealed to his children and descendants before he transitioned to the afterlife. When Levi gathered his children to him, he was not sick. It was told to Levi that he would die. Therefore, he gathered his children to him to instruct them of what they should do, as well as prophesy to his descendants of what would happen to them. The copy of the word of Levi, the things which he ordained unto his sons, according to all that they should do, and what things should befall them until the day of judgment. He was sound in health when he called them to him, for it had been revealed to him that he should die. The Testament of Levi revealed that Levi was a dreamer and a prophet. The Most High said, if there be a prophet among you, he will make himself known to him in a dream. The Bible do not reveal that Levi was taken to the heavens. Levi grieved for mankind that he prayed that he might be saved. After his prayer, Levi fell asleep and he dreamed. In the spirit realm, he dreamed he saw a high mountain and he was on the mountain. The heavens opened to him, and an angel of the Most High told him to enter. And I was grieving for the race of the sons of men, and I prayed to the Lord that I might be saved. Then there fell upon me a sleep, and I beheld a high mountain, and I was upon it. And behold, the heavens were opened, and an angel of God said to me, Levi, enter. Israelites, I talk a lot about the spirit realm on this channel. The spirit realm is very real. The Most High speak with his people in the spirit realm. The book of Job confirm. I've also revealed to you that most of the scriptures are dreams and visions seen by the prophets who have written them down. Israelites, do not ignore your dream life. The revelations received in the spirit realm are important. The Most High spoke to Levi in the spirit realm, the dream world. 
The angel of the Most High took Levi to the presence of the Most High. And when thou hast ascended thither, thou shalt stand near the Lord, and shall be his ministers, and shall declare his mysteries to men, and shall proclaim concerning him that shall redeem Israel. And by thee and Judah shall the Lord appear among men, saving every race of men. It was revealed to Levi his destiny in the spirit realm. Levi seen the heavens open before he ascended into the presence of the Most High. The angel that was with Levi said, The Most High have heard his prayers to separate him from the iniquity of men. If you're righteous, your prayers are heard. If sin is found in you, your prayers are not heard. Because of Levi's desire to separate himself from the iniquity of men, the Most High said he will be a son to the Most High, a servant and a minister of his presence. Therefore, the Most High had heard thy prayer to separate thee from iniquity, and thou, thou shouldest become to him a son and a servant and a minister of his presence. The angel opened the gate and brought Levi into the presence of the glory of the Most High. The angel went on to explain to Levi that he has given him the blessings of the priesthood until he comes to sojourn in the midst of Israel. And thereupon the angel opened to me the gates of heaven, and I saw the holy temple, and upon a throne of glory the Most High. And he said to me, Levi, I have given thee the blessings of the priesthood until I come and sojourn in the midst of Israel. The angel took Levi back to the earth and Levi asked the angel his name. Like in everything, the synagogue of Satan did not reveal the name. The angel identified himself as the one who intercede for the nation of Israel. The scripture said the Messiah intercede on our behalf as well. And I said to him, I pray thee, O Lord, tell me thy name, that I may call upon thee in the day of tribulation. And he said, I am the angel who intercede for the nation of Israel, that they may not be smitten utterly, for every evil spirit attacketh. And after these things I awake, and bless the Most High, and the angel who intercedeth for the nation of Israel, and for all the righteous. The Testament of Levi identify an angel who intercedes on the behalf of the nation of Israel and all the righteous, just like the Messiah. Interesting. Levi revealed to Jacob that the Most High would give him the land of the Canaanites to him and his seed, the same everlasting covenant the Most High made to Abraham. Levi revealed to his children that he saw seven men in white saying to him to get up and put on the robe of the priesthood and the crown of righteousness. And I saw seven men in white raiment saying unto me, Arise, put on the robe of the priesthood and the crown of righteousness and the breastplate of understanding and the garment of truth and the late of faith and the turban of the head and the ephod of prophecy. And they severely carried these things and put them on me and said unto me, from henceforth become a priest of the Lord, thou and thy seed forever. Israelites, like Levi, it is the Most High that will tell you your destiny and purpose on this earth. It is the Most High that will reveal to you your tribe. The Bible doesn't mention the sanctification process Levi went through before he could wear the robe of the priesthood. I encourage you to read the Testament of Levi to know about the process. The man in white robe said to Levi that his tribe would be divided into three offices for a sign for the glory of the one who is to come. And they said to me, Levi, thy seed shall be divided into three offices for a sign of the glory of the Lord who is to come. And the first portion shall be great, yea, greater than it shall none be. The second shall be in the priesthood. And the third shall be called by a new name, because a king shall arise in Judah and shall establish a new priesthood after the fashion of the Gentiles. The seven men in white said to Levi that his seed would be priests, judges, and scribes. The scriptures went on to say by their mouths, the holy place would be guarded. The seven men in white Levi saw were speaking to Levi in the spirit realm his dream. 
The seven men in white robes was the second dream Levi had confirming his destiny as priest. And some of them shall be high priests and judges and scribes, but by their mouths shall the holy place be guarded. And when I awoke, I understood that this dream was like the first dream, and I hid this also in my heart and told it not to any man upon the earth. Isaac continued to call Levi to remind him of the laws of the Most High. Isaac taught Levi the law of the priesthood of sacrifices, burnt offering, and first fruits. Isaac also warned Levi about the spirit of fornication. Isaac revealed that by the spirit of fornication, his seed will pollute the holy place. And Isaac called me continually to put me in remembrance of the law of the Lord, even as the angel of the Lord showed unto me. And he taught me the law of the priesthood of sacrifices, whole burnt offerings, first fruits, free will offerings, peace offerings. And each day he was instructing me and was busied on my behalf before the Lord and said to me, Beware of the spirit of fornication, for this shall continue and shall by thy seed pollute the holy place. I don't know how many times in the B system a pastor is caught with his pants down. The heathens would send their missionaries to do the Most High's work in different countries. Most of them are caught in scandals of abusing the women and children in the foreign countries. Levi taught his children everything he learned from his fathers. Levi said to his children that he taught them the statutes so that he is clear from the ungodliness and transgression the tribe of Levi will commit in the end times against the Most High. The Levites will deceive the Israelites in stirring up a great evil from the Most High. And behold, I am clear from your ungodliness and transgressions, which you shall commit in the end of the ages against the Savior of the world, Christ, acting godlessly, deceiving Israel, and stirring up against it great evils from the Lord. And ye shall deal lawlessly together with Israel, so he shall not bear with Jerusalem because of your wickedness. But the veil of the temple shall be rent, so as not to cover your shame. Levi revealed to his children that they would be scattered as captives among the Gentiles. They would be a reproach and for a curse. And ye shall be scattered as captives among the Gentiles, and shall be for a reproach and for a curse there. The testament of Levi revealed that the tribe of Levi will be scattered among the Gentiles. Not everyone who are descendants of slaves are of the tribe of Judah. Levi is also scattered when they polluted the sanctuary of the Most High and they were sent into captivity. Remember the Levites were already scattered among the Israelites. There is a remnant of Levites living among the Gentiles according to the testament of Levi. The Levites are being scorned in the beast system. Therefore, my children, I have learned that at the end of the ages, you will transgress against the Lord, stretching out hands to wickedness against him and to all the Gentiles shall you become a scorn. Judah and Levi have something in common. Both were sent into captivity and being disrespected and mistreated in the land of their captivity. Levi said that the Levites will bring a curse to our nation because they will teach commandments that are contrary to the ordinance of the Most High. The Levites will rob the offering of the Most High and will spend it on harlots. Yea, ye shall bring a curse upon our race because the light of the law which was given for the lightning every man, this ye desire to destroy by teaching commandments contrary to the ordinance of God. The offering of the Lord ye shall rob, and from his portion shall ye steal choice portions, eating them contemptuously with harlots. The testament of Levi said the Levites would defile the women of Israel. The Levites would take the Gentiles for wife and will purify these strange women with unlawful purification. Levi said his descendants' union with the Gentile women would be like Sodom and Gomorrah. And out of covetousness, Ye shall teach the commandments of the Lord. Wedded women shall ye pollute, and the virgins of Jerusalem shall ye defile, and with harlots and adulteresses shall ye be joined, and the daughters of the Gentiles shall ye take to wife, purifying them with an unlawful purification, and your union shall be like unto Sodom and Gomorrah. 
I can't help but to link the transgressions of the Levites who took strange women for wives and defiling the daughters of Zion with the many sons of Israel today, pushing the doctrines you are what your father is. They teach that the strange women can produce Israelite children. They give these women who are not daughters of Zion, the title daughter of Zion to marry these heathen women. Some Israelites are listing the heathens as Israelites in the 12 tribe chart to overrule the Most High's commandment about the strange women and men. My question to the sons of Israel, if the women you choose for wives can be from any nation, who are the strange women the Most High warn you about? Some of you who teach and stand by these doctrines need to reevaluate your tribe. Some of you claim Judah, but you may be Levi. Levi said to his children that they will become prideful because of the priesthood. And ye shall be puffed up because of your priesthood, lifting yourselves up against men, and not only so, but also against the commands of God. Due to the iniquity of the Levites in the holy place, the temple of the Most High will be destroyed and the Levites will be captives throughout all the nations. Therefore, the temple which the Lord shall choose shall be laid waste through your uncleanness, and you shall be captives throughout all nations. Levi said to his children, all of their enemies who hate them will rejoice at their destruction. Levi said if they didn't receive mercy through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, no Levite would be left on the face of this earth. And if you were not to receive mercy through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our fathers, Not one of our seed should be left upon the earth. The Testament of Levi said that the Levites will make void the laws of the Most High. They will persecute the righteous men and hate the godly. Anyone who tried to restore the word of the Most High, the Levites will call a deceiver. They will try to kill that person. And ye shall persecute righteous men and hate the godly. The words of the faithful shall ye abhor. And a man who renew the law in the power of the Most High, ye shall call a deceiver, and at last ye shall rush upon him to slay him, not knowing his dignity, taking innocent blood through wickedness upon your heads. Levi said to his children, they will have no place that is clean. The Levites will be among the Gentiles as a curse. Their land and substance shall be destroyed. Levi talked about the coming of the Messiah. Levi said that in the Messiah's priesthood, the Gentiles will gain knowledge upon the earth. The Messiah will open the gate of paradise and remove the threatening sword against Adam. The Messiah shall give the righteous to eat from the tree of life. And in his priesthood, the Gentiles shall be multiplied in knowledge upon the earth and enlightened through the grace of the Lord. In his priesthood shall sin come to an end and the lawless shall cease to do evil. And he shall open the gates of paradise and shall remove the threatening sword against Adam. And he shall give to the saints to eat from the tree of life and the spirit of holiness shall be on them. A lot of Israelites in the awakening need to go before the Most High and ask him to reveal their tribe. After reading the Testament of Levi, a lot of people who claim Judah may be Levi. The difference between Levi and Judah, Judah is a warrior. If the spirit of fear run your life, are you sure you're a warrior? Levi said to his children to make a choice. It's either light or the darkness. It's either the law of the Most High or the works of the Satans. Levi was 137 years old when he died. And thus Levi ceased commanding his sons, and he stretched out his feet on the bed and was gathered to his fathers after he had lived 137 years. Israelites, I encourage you to read the Testaments of the Patriarch. There is hidden truth in them. For those who desire to know your tribe, first ask the Most High. Do not stress about your tribe. In due time, the Most High will reveal it to you. If the characteristics of the tribe of Levi is telling your story and the Holy Spirit is nudging at your heart, this may be the confirmation you needed to determine if you descend from the tribe of Levi. Every tribe has its good and bad. That is why we must repent so that we do not repeat the sins of our fathers. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways, and from your evil doings. 
but they did not hear nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? But my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants the prophets, did they not take hold of your fathers? And they returned and said, Like as the Lord of hosts thought to do unto us, according to our ways and according to our doings, so hath he dealt with us. A lot of Israelites want to accept the blessings and the many promises the Most High made to our people. We have to come to the realization that we are in the land of our captivity due to iniquity. Our fathers learn from their mistakes. Before they transition, they command their children to serve the Most High. The awakening is here so that we can repent and serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. We must humble ourselves to receive mercy just like our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob received from the Most High. As our knowledge increase, do not let the spirit of pride take over you. Israelites, repent, for the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses. And there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. But Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord even every man upon his son and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. 